Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney Travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bello Braddock. And I'm Amelia Bello Braddock. And today, new adventurous foods coming to Food and Wine Festival and some new magic shot opportunities at Disneyland. Yeah, this is uh, Food and Wine Festival season now starts in the summer, as you know. In fact, it begins it's very soon. July 27th runs all the way through to November 18th. Probably their longest running, or one of them anyway. Festivals at Epcot. We will be there in the heat of August, as we always are. And I have to say, I sort of like what I'm reading in this week's news story. I don't there. know how to feel about this. <laughs> so there's, a, if you're going to this festival, you must check this out at the Odyssey. So first of all, if you don't know the Odyssey at Epcot, the Odyssey is a little multi-purpose building that they use. And if you are walking into World Showcase and you turn left to go towards Mexico... Before you get to Mexico, on your left, there's a little bridge over the water that leads to a building. And there are some restrooms there as well. Little hint. That is the Odyssey, that little building. And on the other side of that, in the distance, is Test Track. So that's where this is taking place. And this is called the Brew Wing. Now, when I read that, I thought, ooh, it's going to be about beer. But what they've mentioned isn't. But what they've mentioned is very intriguing. Why don't we discuss what it is, and then we're going to find out, Amelia, if you will be interested in tasting these. So what's going on at the Odyssey? So the Odyssey is making a flavorful adventure where there's culinary creations from the Muppet Labs. And these are a little bit, um, they're less than conventional. There's creating scientific snacks and unique drinks, and then you can sample some of these concoctions. Now, it's being hosted by Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, we should say, and yes. his faithful Muppet lab assistant, Beaker. I'm not a huge Muppets fan, so I'll try to look past the Muppets component, but I like what they're creating. Yeah, so first up, there is the unnecessarily spicy, yet extremely tasty Scotch Bonnet Pepper Curry Wings. So these curry wings... Uh, probably going for the longest dish name award, <laughs> the unnecessarily spicy, yet extremely tasty Scotch bonnet pepper curry wings. Yeah, clearly the Muppets named this. I will try these 100% for sure. And when they say unnecessarily spicy, they better be spicy. Will you sample these wings? I'll sample it. I might let you sample it first, but I'll give it a shot. And they did give us one example of a drink. Yes, they. you can try the pickle milkshake. Pickle milkshake. Now, I love pickles. So, I have not tried pickles and milk together, I will admit. But I got to tell you, I think this is going to taste good, personally. Will you try this? I have no idea. I have to look at it. If it's, will you take a sip of mine? If it's green, not a chance. If it's a regular milkshake color possibly will talk and you know what i'm sort of upset there's these are the only two things they've listed so far to sort of whet our appetite for what's going to be there but i love this i love i'm wondering if there's going to be any cocktails too because it is called the brew wing or some weird tasting beer some weird flavors of beer but i'm just so confused i don't know if this will gross you out more but i used to love peanut butter pickles and mustard as a sandwich when i was growing up Peanut butter, pickles, and mustard. Sense. So I would like this milkshake with mustard in it. What? Yeah, I think milk, mustard, and pickles is a perfect milkshake. So okay, m see, I get the mustard and the pickles, but where where does like the ice cream and the milk come in? So if we remember, <laughs> if we can get a mustard packet from somewhere else in Epcot, no. After, <laughs> I will make my own concoction and see what they think about it. I'll try theirs first. And I'm using my power of veto. I'm not trying that. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to this actually. So the brewing at the Odyssey. Of check it out if you're heading to this year's food and wine and. Not only that, they're adding a few more global marketplaces. Yes. So the Food and Wine Festival already has 25 global marketplaces. And then later this fall, they're adding four more for the Disney 100 celebration. Of course. Yes. So they I don't know how they'll tie in, but hey, they just throw Disney 100 wherever they can. Yeah, well, one for each quarter of a century of the Disney bubble. Sure, sounds good. Bubble. I don't know. They can do anything. First off, we have the Char and Chop, and then the Wine and Wedge, as well as the Bubbles and Brine and Swirled Showcase. 
which we'll share more details and dates, of course. And you know what I'm announced. upset about here? These all sound great. Char and chop. That sounds like something you would and I would both like. You yes. love charred foods and chop means it's probably going to be meaty. Wine and wedge. That's definitely for other members of our family. <laughs> I'll try that too. Bubbles and brine, you know, who knows, champagne, whatever that's going to be. But it says later this fall. So I have a feeling this is going to be the second half of the food and wine. Now we are going late August. Not quite fall by any means, but fingers crossed, maybe some of these will be open. Yeah, or maybe they'll be returning next year because Disney 100 does probably continue. Yep, so there will be a total of 29 little marketplace booths this year, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty excited for Food and Wine Festival. I'm hoping it's a typo on the milkshake and they meant pickled milkshake. I don't know if that means anything that's different, but I'm just, I'm hoping it's... Well, it would still be pickling juice, so... It's not going to be too far off. If this is blended pickles, we're going to see we're going to see what's going on. Try not to think about actually how they make it and just taste it. I will go first on both of these, no problem. I am a food experimenter, no problem. That's the formal chef side of me. You have to try things to get new flavors. So Well, maybe it will be good. All right, so lots of great tasting stuff coming our way this summer at the Food and Wine Festival. And then all the way to the left coast, over at Disneyland, there's some new magic shots coming up. Now, let's talk about these seven new magic shots. We'll tell you what they are and where you can find them. And then we're going to give, uh, at least I do, I have some top picks from yeah. what I've seen from their I, sample. Engines. I agree with your top. All right, let's run through the seven new magic shops at Disneyland Resort. So first off, we have the balloons. And this shot has the iconic Mickey Mouse balloon themed in their Disney 100. And it can be captured actually throughout many locations. And it is often available with the limited time theming for different celebrations so right now it is themed for disney 100 obviously as i mentioned and you can ask any photographer if they're offering the photo and hopefully they say yes a popular one is i know in front of the castle they yeah, offer it and i guess they're saying this is new because the theming has changed so now it's disney 100 which is new yeah so if you want a disney 100 memory i have this as a top pick just because i yeah. think it's a classic photo yeah, and it's classic it's popular and it saves you balloon money and it sort of looks real right so that's my comment on some of these it sort of looks not too bad as a magic shot next one up yes next up we have the cheshire cat and this one is at the mad tea party in fantasy land and this one uh, you could, you're kind of inside the teacup. Tea cup. Yeah. And then the Cheshire cat is just on a little ledge above your shoulder. Yeah. It looks like he's in cute. the tree. And yeah, well, that is where he's known to reside. Yes. And I have this one as another top pick because I don't love the cartoony characters often because they, I just find it looks too fake. And I know obviously they're cartoons. They are fake. I think in about five years with AI, some of these magic shots are going to look really, really good like way better than they look now some of them look dumb they'll have tear packages they'll be like ai magic shots cartoon yeah, magic. don't give them any ideas and also you know it sort of depends on the photographer because we've had ones that are misaligned like you're supposed to be holding tinkerbell in your hands and she's slightly on your wrist <laughs> stuff like that so there is photographer skill required to make these perfect but anyway this one mm. looks really good i like the way mm. they did it I think it's kind of themed correctly because Wonderland is Wonderland's not supposed to be the most realistic thing in the world. So having the Cheshire Cat yeah. and a teacup and everything, it kind of fits. The, it, it sort fits of fits the naturally into the photo too, yeah, which is what the I mad like. tea party. You're going mad. That's why it's a cartoon. Now on that theme, the next one up is one I don't particularly. I mean, if you love these characters, it's a great shot. It's a fun shot yeah, for kids. But exactly, in, it's in fun terms for your little of kids. Photo yeah. <laughs> quality. Photo quality. It is not one of my top picks. Based on the ads that they've released yeah, the where they use all of yeah, the, they've shown us they have a huey dewey and louie photo which is basically just them appearing right in front of you and this can be shot left of the hyperion theater in hollywood land yeah so california adventure park for this one yeah they're sort of on the road playing in front of you yeah, so if you like you know donald's yeah. nephews yeah nothing wrong with them it's just not a a bucket list item for us personally the next one may be possibly my favorite of all seven now, this one I like. It's pretty cool. Again, this one, I would have to say you line up correctly. Yes, it's got to be uh, framed properly. 
Yes, but this one, uh, the bridge to Pixar Pier in California Adventure Park, you can have a magic shot with Violet force field. And so the force field will be surrounding your family and then Violet will be on the edge. And so will Jack Jack with his powers and you're inside the little bubble. Yeah. And this one looks pretty it cool. It looks pretty cool. So this is one that I do like, even though it's obviously they're all cartoony. So this is a good one. Next one is one of those ones where we've had an error that I was talking about with Tinkerbell on a similar type of shot. Yeah, this one's pretty cute, a little bit subtle, located at the Millennium Falcon. This is a cute little porg just standing on your arm, and it's like, a, oh, look surprised. Yeah, it's one of those classic, okay, look surprised. And then everybody po- looks at the empty hand, surprised. Yeah. <laughs> In this case, it's this a porg. This kind of based on your acting skills, but usually they turn out pretty cute, yeah. especially if you have little children. So if you're a Star Wars fan, I, I mean, I do like the porgs. We got a little furry porg at home, so... If you like the porgs, it's a good look surprise mm. shot. This one actually looks not bad when, because obviously their sample yeah, photographer. This one has to be nailed right yeah, by their the sample, photographer. Yeah, their sample photographer did a good job. It is, it was a little bit difficult to see almost. It just kind of slipped right in there. So that's pretty cool. It yeah. looks a tiny bit natural. Next up in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle, as well as at the partner statue, you can just have a little animated Minnie Mouse sitting next to you in the background of your shot. Yeah, so this is uh, set up so that there's a little concrete uh, garden with a railing around the partner statue. So you're basically sitting on that concrete ledge and Minnie sits beside you. Classic shot. It's the cartoon Minnie. So, you know, yeah, it is what it is. But it's a nice shot if you like Minnie. Looks great with kids, I think. Finally, number seven. Yes. Next, also on the bridge to Pixar Pier in California Adventure, this is Buzz Lightyear and Woody, which are just flying over you as you take your shot with does have a pretty nice background i will admit so yeah i have to say to wasn't a top pick but it does look okay for it could have not looked okay for a flying woody and buzz yeah and if you're well, a big toy story fan or you want some promo for the new movie it could be a cute shot to take. yeah this will be one you'll like so there you go seven new shots again all this stuff will be in our show notes so you don't have to remember it or the blog post at 1923mainstreet.com and you can check out these locations and get your magic shots done for photo pass yes now, in other news, a little story I just heard. Speaking of Disneyland, the blue ribbon corn dogs that they have there, if you like corn dogs like I do, I don't even know if I'm, well, Amelia's had one, but do you even remember? That's the little hot dog. No, I know what and, a corn Yeah, you know what I'm it familiar. is. I'm <laughs> familiar. Okay. I love corn dogs. I don't eat them enough. But blue ribbon corn dogs is now opening up at Walt Disney World. First one on the boardwalk. So hopefully oh, it'll be we'll there in August. we'll stop by. We will. I will definitely try it. It's a good grab and go snack. Yeah. I have to stop myself from eating multiple corn dogs. I've had hit or miss honest. corn dogs. These ones are good. I've had these at uh, at Disneyland. Well, they're good in Disneyland, so we'll have to see in Disney yeah, World. It's hopefully, the same co. So hopefully, hopefully their quality match. And finally, Disneyland has had a little bit of controversy with their Oogie Boogie Bash. Oh yes, buying tickets. Disney seems to struggle with it all the time, but this was an epic fail. Yeah. As you know, if you tried yeah. to buy them recently in Disney's the last couple of weeks. copying Ticketmaster over here. Oh, they were not available. The whole system crashed. However, as of 9 a.m. release date, tickets are again available. Yeah, so July 11th. Good luck for your round two attempts. And then I want to throw in one more thing I just thought of here in case you're having this issue because I did get some confirmation oh, from, yes. yeah, and, uh, from a cast member. For certain advanced dining reservations at Walt Disney World, they are not working properly 60 days out. So in our case, it's Narcoosie's where there is zero availability for all of eternity, not even one time. And literally the first day that we wanted to yeah. go. And then also for, I've heard from San Angel in Epcot, the same type of thing is happening and it's happening in a few different restaurants. So I did call dining and they've confirmed they're getting the same experience as us. They don't know what the cause is. So not to worry in a way, it's not you, it's them. And it is a bizarre thing because it's not affecting dining universally, but it is affecting the release of reservations at a a number of select restaurants by design or by accident. Mm -hmm. We don't know. And I'm just curious, does anyone have reservations in there? Yeah, not that I've heard. There's been a whole string on it in some of the... But that's my question. If they don't media. resolve it, is there just no one in Narcoosie's that night? I think they'll they will resolve it. So well, we're you hopefully. know we're now I hate to say trying ten times a day. I'm just in there just refreshing to see if they pop up. So we have a few nights. We're not picky on a specific night, but yeah, it uh, it all begins the day yeah. we arrive. So it's pretty funny. It's like they're. They don't want us to eat there. They were watching. Because they, they know we took it off our top 10 <laughs> list. So is Narcoosie's going to make it back on? We'll let you know. They're I'm not sure ready. We'll they need more time. 
All right, everyone, that is the news for this week. You are all caught up. Lots of uh, photo and food talk this week on the show. So thank you for listening. As always, follow along on social media at 1923 Main Street and have a magical day.